ya mwisho ndio nikamilishe ni maneno ya BBI sisi tumekubaliana na ile document ambayo iliwekwa kule Bomas tunataka sasa tuletewe na mimi nataka kuomba ile wizara inahusika na ile kamati ambao walipewa fedha nyingi ya kutumia sasa leteni copies au wananchi wajisomee mimi nimesikia watu wengine wanaanza kusema ati ndio kusimplify nani amekuambia hatujasoma wewe unajua ngombe ngapi mauso wa kaunti ndio watu waende shule na safari hii kwa sababu ni mwana mheshimiwa rais amepatia hiyo kamati nafasi ya kuendelesha hiyo maneno ya BBI Wacha sasa ni wapatie wenye mapema. Raundi hii hakuna kusnik kwa kaunti yangu. Mkuje mchana tuandalie barasa mchana. Raia na sisi zote tutoe maoni. Hii Kenya ni yetu wote. Na kila mtu atoe maoni yake akiheshimu maoni ya mkenya mwenzake. Hapa tuko kwa competition. Tuko kwa kutoa maoni. Na tunakaa watu wote wachangie. Hata mimi niko na maneno ambayo iliwachwa ambaye ningetaka ikuwe kwa hii BBI. Kwa maneno ya mashamba, mimi nataka BBI ishukulikie kwanza kurudisha ardhi ya title deed mahali ilikuwa. Hatuwezi kuwa na viongozi wa serikali. Waziri mzima wa serikali anasema title deed ni karatasi. Na wewe unajua kabisa hiyo title deed ndio tunaenda nayo kwa bank kukopa pesa. Sasa wewe kama waziri umesema ni karatasi, benki watakubali kunipatia pesa wa kufanya biashara? Kuna mtu atakupatia pesa kwa sababu umeheana karatasi? Lazima tuhakikishe tumerudisha sanctity ya title deed and its integrity as a serious security and financial document in this country. Mimi nataka kuona hiyo kwa BBI. Ya pili treasury na mimi nataka kuambia rafiki yangu waziri msimamizi bwana ukuri hatani wewe ulikuwa governor mwenzangu na wewe ulikuwa governor kwanza kaunti yako ilikuwa na matatizo chungu mzima na kweli watu wakishiba wanasahau mahali wametoka ati leo hii wewe unataka kuambia counties uweze release pesa ati wako na madeni na huku mnatuambia tupambane na ufisadi wewe unataka tulipo watu ofi ofi tusikague ni nini tunalipa Public Financial Management Act does not in any way empower the cabinet secretary for treasury to decide at free will when to release and when not to release funds to the county the law is very clear on the schedule of release of county funds wewe release pesa kwa counties Wacha kila kaunti ijipange na kazi zake na miradi zao. Kama pesa itapotea iko USCC, iko DCI, iko Efficiency Monitoring Unit na wale mingine. Bila kuhakikisha pesa za county na sio county peke yake even national government departments treasury you must release the money on time if you want financial institutions to support the local businessman wakati tunawapatia kandarasi kama serikali zamani hapo awali mwanabiashara yeyote alikuwa akitoa LPO ya serikali hiyo ni loan direct kwa sababu financial institutions used to trust on government contracts lakini mahali imefika wewe ukiwa na LPO ya serikali wewe ni suspect kwa sababu treasury is not releasing the money so we are not paying suppliers on time and banks are not recovering their loans on time so you don't expect banks to continue advancing business people who are doing business with government so we want national treasury to be serious about releases na tuliwaambia tuketi na nyinyi sisi governors we are reasonable people we live in this country we understand you must manage the cash flow of the nation and we know we don't have unlimited resources but if we sit and agree on a process please let us implement what we have agreed together because we all love this nation and we would like this nation to progress kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuomba waziri wa finance ahakikishe hiyo pesa za counties zikuwe released on time sisi kama serikali ya county tunajikaza tunalipa wale wanatudai 
kwa wakati lakini pia wale wana kandarasi hasa local contractors Kenyans wale tunawapatia makandarasi pia nyinyi mtafanyie kazi iliyo sawa tunahangaika na makontrakta ambao utawapatia kazi wanafanya ikifika nusu wameshindwa kwa sababu kiwalipa tu pesa ya kwanza wanaenda kununua plot hawana pesa ya kurudisha kwa kazi unalipa hawa pesa ya pili wanaenda kununua gari hawana pesa ya kurudisha kwa kazi alafu serikali ikaanza kulete wanakandarasi kutoka nje mnaanza kulalamika na kusema sisi kama wa Kenya serikali is not giving us business serikali inapatia Chinese sijui nini we shall have no option if that is what it calls for for us to execute the projects that the public is demanding but we shall give you priority for as long as you deliver and that applies to county and national government contracts we want our local contractors to be serious about the execution of the projects they have been given kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kusema kusidi hapo mimi nataka kuchukua tu nafasi hii niwatakie christmas njema mwaka mpya wenye mafanikio na mwaka wa 2020 kazi ni masaa 24. Kama wewe ni mfanyakazi wa serikali umeanza umeanza kurekelekea, sasa tumie hii wiki tatu kwenda kufanya mazoezi ya kufanya kazi masaa 24. Na nyinyi mawaziri na chief officers. Kazi iko huko kwa mashinani kwa raia. Januari hii mambo ya ofisi ni masaa mawili kwa siku. Yale masaa mengine watu waende wafanyie kazi raia huko kwa ground. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kusema kusidi hapo. Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana wazee wa mitaa kwa ile kazi mnafanya, kazi ya kesi, kazi ya usalama, kazi ya kupambana na pombe. Sisi tunataka kuwashukuru na wale viongozi na wafanyikazi wote wa serikali wa county and national government katika county hii. Mimi nataka kuwapongeza kwa ile kazi tunafanyia wananchi. Hii ndio county uwezi jua kazi hii ni ya national ama ni ya county. Sisi tuliamua wananchi ni watu moja na tutawahudumia kama serikali kuu na serikali ya county kwa pamoja ndio tuweze kufaulu. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki.